Hello, I am Anna Carolina, Engineering Product Manager at Zup, and today I will show how Stackspot AI can bring more efficiency to digital product management and improve the quality of your deliveries. We know that managing digital products faces significant challenges like a lack of clarity in requirement specifications, the need for continuous value delivery, and the complexity of coordinating between teams. These problems can lead to delays, rework, high planning costs, and customer dissatisfaction. So let's discuss a powerful solution, the creation of features and user stories using the product agent from Stackspot AI. This structured approach will not only solve these challenges, but increase team efficiency and improve cross-functional collaboration. Well-written code starts with a well-written requirement. So let's go. As you have seen in previous demonstrations, we can access Stackspot AI through a plugin in the main IDs. But for today, I will be working in the Stackspot AI portal. So let's imagine that we just completed an inception for a vehicle financing product. I have the vision of my product and the sequenced functionalities. Now, I'm going to use Stackspot AI's product agent called PM Backlog Booster. I will pass the agent the relevant information about my product vision and the functionalities needed for my lean section. From there, I will start by directing it to create my features for me first and foremost. You can see the agent has already started returning the features for this vehicle financing product. There were eight total features. Note that I didn't ask for any specific format, but the result returned a description, purpose, and acceptance criteria for each feature. So for each of the features, it followed this template. Why? This agent is configured to always bring these parameters whenever feature creation is requested. The configuration can be built upon based on your needs. What am I going to do now? So now we have the result of eight features, user registration, vehicle search, financing simulation, financing application, application tracking, payment, notifications and alerts and support. The agent created these features based on the sequence functionalities that I provided to him earlier. Now, what am I going to ask it to do for me? Now for each feature, I will ask it to create user stories. Notice that I am not going to ask for any type of methodology or any specific template. So here we can see that for each of the features that were created earlier, it generated the user stories. So here we see feature one, user registration. It created story 1.1, which would be the registration of a new user, story 1.2, which would be the login of an existing user, and story 1.3, which would be password recovery. And the agent did this for each of the features we have for this product, for this MVP. If we look here, the model created the user stories and included the description, the acceptance criteria, story points, an estimate in weeks, as well as indicates whether this story is a functional or non-functional type. Why did he bring all this information? These are the parameters we set within our agent, and we teach it what the criteria are for each of these parameters. Another important point to mention here is that these stories all came in the INVEST standard. It is a model that we teach the agent to create stories. 
from this point, it is very important for the PM, the product manager, or the business analyst of the team to review these stories to understand if they meet the product requirements and if development team will be ready to execute them. Another very interesting way for us to create user stories is from the textual transcription of a recorded refinement meeting. I'll show you an example. So let's imagine the first feature here, which was the registration of a new user. Imagine that the team all gathered together in a refinement meeting to discuss and explore this first feature, and they recorded the meeting. At the end of the meeting, they take the record of the textual transcription. So here we have a simulation of a textual transcription of a refinement meeting, where they discussed and explored the first feature, which would be user registration. Here the PM suggests what stories this feature could have, and then we ask our agent to create the stories based on this transcription. All set. Here we have the return of the user stories, simply based on a textual transcription of the refinement meeting. Another way for us to create user stories would be through the solution design of a specific feature created by the development team itself. So, let's imagine that the development team has a feature to deliver, and at the end of the refinement meeting, they came out with a solution design a simple flow to show how it would work, but this was the design based on the discussion the team had in the refinement meeting about the feature to be delivered, a feature for updating payment compliance. So here, it would be enough to make a copy of the drawing where it generates an XML file containing all the information of this drawing in the background, and we asked the agent to create user stories based on the solution drawing. I will provide added context to the agent by informing where this drawing came from. Here I am pasting the drawing that I copied earlier. So here it comes entirely in XML format, containing all the information of my drawing so that it can understand the context of this feature and create the user stories. Once again, I didn't provide it with format parameters that these stories would need to have. All of this is already pre-configured within our agent. You can see here the user stories generated based on the solution design that was provided. Here we have the story title, the description, the acceptance criteria, the story points, the duration, and it returns whether it is a functional story or not. It is important to remember that all this information was parameterized so the agent can be configured according to the minimum requirements that the company considers as a quality story. Additionally, the PM can interact with the agent based on the context of their team and project needs, asking it to generate these stories in a different format. This is a product manager agent, so it knows best practices and can adapt to apply to specific methodologies. So let's recap. We explored a bit how digital product management can be transformed using Stackspot AI in the creation of features and user stories. We have seen here how this approach is structured and can solve common challenges, improve the efficiency of product managers, enhance communication between teams, and ensure continuous delivery of value to the customer. Now that you are familiar with the platform, I encourage you to apply it to your own projects. 
Try creating your stories and user features using PM Backlog Booster and see how you will become much more strategic in your daily activities. Thank you very much for watching this demo. See you next time and keep innovating in the management of your digital products.